made. So here is a Crossley. Uh, this is from the early 50s, maybe 53, 54. I worked on one of these before. I used to have one in a different color. They're kind of cool. I don't know. It's not really my exact thing, but while I'm waiting for some parts, I thought this could be a quick little project, maybe a one or two day project. You know, just change some capacitors and get it working. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I now have this very cool tripod thing, which I don't know how I feel about. I was really resistant to doing it because I really like holding the camera so I can show you details and so on, but I guess I can, I don't know, we'll, we'll try this, but it's kind of cool. You've got the, the dials all painted. Got a nice logo there. Uh, you've got the cardboard back here with a radio phono switch so you can plug in your record player or your iPod, I guess, or whatever, anything really. Uh, it's got its screws, so I don't know if this has ever been a part. It has a white cord, which has been probably changed. Uh, this plug is plug is kind of uh, not not original definitely um, so I'm gonna get it apart and we'll take a look on, inside so here's the chassis you can see it's uh, a little dirty um, it's got five tubes and it has the IF transformers from automatic radio company which like to go bad so there's a chance that both of those are no good um, let's take a look underneath I bet it's been worked on one of the screws was uh, kind of uh, you know oh yeah oh yeah it's been worked on it has replacement electrolytic couple replacements uh, very simple not much to really do here. Um, yeah, I mean, it is missing the bottom. It should have had a bottom cover. You can see the little, uh, there's a little like, screw holes here. Um, but that's okay. It doesn't really need that. Um, so yeah, this is a simple radio. This is just change the capacitors and be done with it. I don't like this mess they left here. That's kind of, the leads are way too long. Doesn't need to be that way. All right. Uh, was the cord been changed? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh no, it hasn't. This is the original cord. Had a white cord, I guess. So let me get this cleaned up. All right. So now the first thing I'm going to do here um, is I'm going to go ahead and clean some of these tube sockets while I wait for the soldering iron to warm up. So I'm gonna unplug the tube here and we'll just, I like to spray the two pins. I just put a little on there. And then what I do is I plug and unplug several times. And that will clean the socket. Um, you know, the thing is, sometimes if you spray directly in the sockets, it uh, gets into it a little too much and can cause arcing if you power it up right away. So I, these sockets don't really do that. These are the molded plastic, uh, as cheap as Crossley was. You know, this isn't that cheap. The only thing really cheap about this, which is not even really cheap, it's just that that's what was available, is these IF cans that they used, which were really poor quality. But, you know, they didn't know it, and neither did any of the other manufacturers. It was just really uh, later on they found that out. Uh, not even that much later. I mean, a lot of these started failing early on. 
So I've seen radios where the IF transformers have been replaced probably in the 50s or 60s, you know, and that's, that's uh, a little hidden there. Um, yeah, that was 50s or 60s, they probably changed. So, I mean, then yet I've seen others that they last forever. Now, the tuning capacitor here, what I like to do is I like to start off by spraying just a little contact cleaner in there to get out any dust or anything loose. That should then help clean it. And then once it starts turning a little better, then I use some of this oil. This is a, they call it the Zoom Spout Oiler. It's just a light oil, machine oil. And all we're doing is putting some in the areas that need it, keeping away from the dial string. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's much, much, much smoother compared to what it was. Not perfect, but... So I did the tube sockets, I did the tuning, it feels like it's getting caught, but I don't think it is. No, it's just the string making noise. Um, it's kind of nice because this is a, um, they call it a vernier tuning. It's got a smooth, slow tuning, so when you turn this, it's not just turning it all at once. Uh, I could probably use a little grease right in there, a little oil, I mean, just is it a little, just a little, I don't want to put too much, oh, that's a lot, all right, well, let's see what happens there, well, that's, if that's not smooth, I don't know what is, so that should be real nice, oh, if one thing I forgot to clean out was, uh, Phono switch, which needs to be clean. That should be pretty clean. Okay. So I've cleaned all the sockets. I've cleaned the, um, I've cleaned the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, switch, phono switch. I've cleaned the volume power control. I've oiled the tuning capacitor, so that's nice now. So the next thing I'll do is we'll just do a, uh, a recap on this. So we got two, four, five, at least five paper caps. What the heck is this thing here? Oh, six, there's one buried down there. Plus all the electrolytics. Like, who, did, who did this? Look at this. See how long this wire is? It's like, it should have been like that. You know, I, I mean, you just leave all of the wire on the capacitor. How old is this thing? This is old. Oh, here we go, Dow Con. Can you see that? Dow Con. I don't even know who made that, but uh, it's got this little guy on it. Looks like a guy with a Looks like the atom symbol around his head with a lunch pail. I guess he's hungry anyway. Uh, maybe I'm hungry, I'm not sure. But uh, this can definitely be removed. Twisted, I don't know, it can be removed because that, that's not going to go anywhere. The uh, way that you find the other end of ground is you connect one lead to ground and then you start poking around. So I could probably just do that theoretically. And then you start poking around, you know, is it somewhere? Is it here? Ah, so there's one right there. 
So instead of connecting to that point, I should be able to connect to that point or potentially there. So anyway, I can figure it out. Okay, so I'm checking some resistors here. You can see this one here is a 150, one green, um, brown, green, brown, 151. So one zero, I'm getting 170, that's okay. Excuse me, uh, 474, it's a, a 470K. I'm getting 421K, it's probably something else in, in there. Um, this one here, looks like it got hot. Five, come on. Six oh seven K. That's a little high. I might replace that one actually. Um, although where does it go? It goes between the it's an audio output tube on the rectifier. I mean, it probably won't matter. Uh, this one I would be more concerned about because that's a uh, I believe that's a um, cathode. Uh, resistor, but that that's close enough. You've got a um, couplet or whatever they call it here. This is what this thing is. It's an early type of integrated circuit, so that's kind of cool. And that uh, basically uh, it provides the uh, it's a network of different parts, but in there is a coupling capacitor that goes between the first audio and the output so and those don't really well I'm not gonna say they don't go bad they do go bad but it's not frequent in these anyway in some of the TVs it's more of an issue um, so what I'm gonna do here I'm not gonna do this on video because <clears throat> there's a million things about recapping radios and you can certainly look it up and uh, you know, there's a lot out there. Uh, I'm going to change the electrolytics out. There's three of them. There's 40, two 47s and a 30 at 150. I've got these here. These are, uh, where are they? 160. So it doesn't matter the value. I could put 80. I could put, well, it does. I wouldn't put 5 or 10, but, you know, within reason. Uh, from 40 up to, you know, 100 or so is fine. But I'm going to stick kind of close. Uh, it's a little better on the rectifier to keep it uh, close. So let me work on that. All right, I just decided to go ahead and change all of the capacitors. So that's what I, that's what I did. I went ahead and I replaced these here with these little ones because I have them and they fit. I put a safety capacitor here between B minus and chassis. Okay, so I have the what's that? the um, dim bulb plugged in. I get the variac on. I'm gonna go ahead and give it 10 volts, it like 20 volts, 30 volts, get 40 volts, 55, 60 volts. Still, still do it. Dirty volume control. Oh, it might help to have that connected. All right, be right back. So I went ahead and I relocated the ground. Sometimes it does matter uh, what I was saying before about you can move the grounds around. Usually you can, but once in a while it does matter. So I'm going to try this. Of course. Anyone so with a Discover card can call and talk there. to a real person 24-7. Now, like how can plan, I help? Right? Yeah, I used my Sounds Discover good. card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just Watch not sure I'm pulling them off. 
service. It pays to discover. Limitations apply. Learn more. So the problem is, for some reason, the capacitor I used there between ground and uh, B minus, uh, maybe it was open, defective, could be defective, right? What I want to do now, let me try a different one. I'm going to cut out the one that I put in and we'll try a couple different capacitors and see what works. And just for fun, you know, might as well. So here it is with this capacitor, right? Does not like it, okay? Pretty interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one here. Oh, be nice if you could see. But we are the four students in the class with you know, fine books to read for the following week's Does assignment. Not like the safety capacitor. And it was somewhere around there I realized, hmm, maybe instead of studying the minutiae of Yiddish literature, I so ought to do point something one. about saving the books first. And then we could go that. on to the content of them. Not I just happy had no with idea quite what I was getting into. So, despite what conventional wisdom says about doing this, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and put the one that the radio likes because otherwise the radio is not usable. Uh, I would like to be able to listen to it. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, really, I, I've never seen that before. It's the same value. All right, we've got this playing. It sounds pretty good. The um, power cord here is really dirty and it's kind of stiff. I'm thinking, you know, it, it might free up a little bit if I just clean it up. I think the dirt is pretty bad. This is the original cord. It was white. Uh, probably to go with the light colored cabinet, you know, for your kitchen or whatever. Anyway, um, set's working. Sounds good. Very sensitive. You know, I'll play it in a minute, but um, I think this cord is fine, but the plug is something out of the 30s, or at least it's that style. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just change it, uh, you know, in order to, um, uh, in order to really you know, give it a more contemporary look. And also I can save this plug when I do work on something from the 30s, which you know, early 30s anyway, I don't know. I haven't done that in a while and this is kind of a, uh, nor do I plan on it any, well, actually I lie. I have a few sets that are from the 30s that I need to work on, so I'll probably do that at some point. But uh, yeah, so, I think a little corrosion there. I don't know, this cord probably should be changed, but uh, to be honest, I don't want to because the, um, the thing is, I buy this cord, or at least I used to buy it from Home Depot, which was fine. You know, they sell all sorts of wire. And since the prices have been going up, because the world is ending, um, they have now, oh, this is pretty badly corroded. Ugh, I don't like this. Well, the thing is, it's just so difficult to get the cord from the, uh, just difficult to get the cord from the shelves because they've put everything under lock and key, which is great if you're trying to find something that you need. Um, it's actually a major pain. So I don't actually uh, like to buy anything anymore. Uh, that's at least on the, on those hidden shelves because to be honest, it's difficult. Oh, that's good. There's no Chinese plugs on it. This is just a white plain plain plug. It's a little more contemporary. So, you know, I guess what I'll do once I get the the better plug on it clean up this cord and it should look okay. At least it's not going to short out and do anything to 
too bad. So this was a pretty good quick project. The IF transformers were not bad yet. Oh, really? Um, they will be eventually, like every other radio like this. They will be eventually. So I can stop throwing things around here. Um, you know, give it another few years, probably 10 years. If you play this, what happens is the little capacitors inside the IF cans like to, um, with high voltage going through them, and they have high volt, well, relatively high voltage. I think it's about 100 volts. But because of that, they tend to um, uh, basically start arcing. The, the silver coating on one side of the mica sheet, uh, what they call migrates to the other side of the sheet. And one side has high voltage, the other side does not. And of course, any voltage likes to find ground, and uh, it finds ground all right. I'll just put it that way. So, you know, that will happen eventually with this and every other radio like this that has these little uh, automatic radio IF cans. But for now, this one is working. And the trick is with these, which is kind of hard, is to only play them once in a while. Because otherwise you will be replacing the IF transformers or at least doing microsurgery on them, uh, which I've done and I really dislike. This, unfortunately, this only has two. Some of the FM radios have four or six or whatever. No, that's not even worth fixing. Um, yeah, so this is... This is better with a more modern plug, and it's a little safer. Although I mean, I'm all for I'm all for these, which are not safe. So they're not going to kill anyone, but they're just you know they have wire exposed. I'm going to clean this up. I'll clean up the cord, and we'll put it back together. Um, before that, though, I'll I'll switch it on for you. All right. Particular need to provide my control. Just does not want to cooperate. Providers, so these students really. Okay. Okay. Got music. I think this could be the beginning of the end for the squad and people Seven, like that. Because even in some of the squad members' own districts. Oh, I guess we're going to share the year for podcast fans, and you'll hear it. Right here on 710 WOR, oh, we're going to broadcast. Okay. Yeah, whoever. Hey, but, but, but if it was... Somebody wants 60. to be on the East Coast. The Julia and people like Julia are, are valuable parts of our community. They're that valuable parts of our station. society, and they, they shouldn't be dispensed. Be Jesus the Christ, right? Yeah, I'm more true. Yeah. I'm looking at the mind piece, man. Official debut. Well, they don't. You think you want to play sensitive radio? Chalamet says he wants Butler's version of the would have happened. Nick Saban would still be coaching today because he would have been fine with that. He would have adapted to shut that off. So I'm happy with it. It's working just fine. Amazing. Sometimes all it takes is one little, you know, one little tweak. I can't believe those capacitors. I guess. Maybe they're mislabeled, maybe they're point oh one. Um, you know, that that could be. But anyway, I'm certainly not gonna use them in any other radio like this. I'll probably just uh, just get rid of them. Then correct okay. treatments. Wall Street yeah, Index is up right now, Dow Three call the better. If you were in around nineteen twenty, I'm in his money away. Getting a full uninterrupted sleep. Operators, both start their careers at eight. Short days. On March 23rd from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sounds very good. The metro area will be gathering. Keep your body temperature just right. Cut up little room. Generally speaking, people's compensation. 
and the editor of the involved in this short drive. They put up the matching money to encourage you to join them and have taken possession of us. But only when you give now. Please show your support for this short this matching drive give. at WSHU.org or give away all your money seven 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 ninety seven. But Warm, delicious breakfast right before it ends. Sounds very Wake good. Wake up and start your morning at McDonald's. Right now, mix and match two of your favorite breakfast sandwiches for just $6. Like a sausage McMuffin with egg, sausage egg and cheese McGriddles, bacon egg and cheese biscuit, or chicken McGriddles. Price and participation may vary. Well. cannot be combined with any other single. nice quick project. Uh, good to get it done. I did clean up the cord. You can see it looks pretty good now. So it's got the original cord, which is in okay shape, and uh, it is working. So, you know, not a bad quick project for today.